Chris Eubank Jr. has predictably called out Gennady Golovkin following Golovkin's recent loss to Canelo Alvarez in their third fight. Now, he's been calling Golovkin out for many, many years, and a lot of people seem to think that he's never had any real intention of fighting Golovkin, that it's all just been about clout chasing and making himself look like he's willing to take on the elite when he isn't really. But in any event, I'm going to quote Chris Eubank Jr. here. This was taken from his Twitter account. He said, Triple G, you've had a great run. Come back down to middleweight and let's fight for those belts you still have in December. Or just pass them over and I'll look after them for the next couple of years while you enjoy retirement. You earned it, champ. Now, again, he's written that in a very trolly kind of way where he's saying, You've had a great run, let's fight in December or just hand them over to me and you can enjoy retirement and I'll take on the duties of being unified middleweight champion. And again, that's going to lend fuel to the fire to this idea that he's just clout chasing. He's not really serious about fighting Golovkin. A lot of people are going to say that. Personally, I think he is serious about fighting Golovkin. I think he's been serious at least for the past couple years. And I'm not completely dismissive of the possibility that he's always been serious. So, in terms of him fighting Golovkin in December, that's unrealistic, obviously. Because why would Golovkin sign to fight a guy who's already got a fight coming up in October? He might not win the fight, or he might get injured in the fight. And therefore, that will cause them to have to cancel the show or push it back from December to whenever. And, and well, it, that's in the case he was injured. If he loses, then the show would have to be canceled completely. So it's not realistic for him to talk about fighting Gennady Golovkin in December. Is that just a bunch of clout chasing? If he really wants to fight him, I think he's going to have to maneuver himself into a mandatory position. And fighting Conor Ben is not going to help him do that. Because Conor Ben is not even a middleweight. So he's going to have to take on tough contenders in the top five of one of the sanctioned bodies that Golovkin holds a title for and actually win. If he does that, then it becomes a more realistic fight. Eubank Jr. seems to think that he's a cash cow. And therefore, champions like Golovkin are going to want to fight him just based on the payday they're going to get. But unfortunately for Chris Eubank Jr., Golovkin is in a different universe to him with regards to paydays. Golovkin just got paid something in the region of $20 million for his third fight with Canelo. That's the kind of money that Eubank Jr. has never seen in his entire career. In fact, it might be the case that if you added up all the purses that Eubank Jr. has ever made in his all of his fights, where however many fights he's had now, the combined total wouldn't be as much as 20 million. So Eubank Jr. really, <laughs> he can clout chase and he can call the guy out and he can troll him and do all this other kind of thing. But unless he actually commands the kind of purses that are going to attract Golovkin, uh, or unless he maneuvers himself into a mandatory position, I just don't see that fight happening. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Chris Eubank Jr. once again, because he's been doing this for years now, calling out Gennady Golovkin. Is he going to get the fight? And if he did get the fight at this stage with a 40-year-old Golovkin, how do you guys think he would do? I know most people think he would have got destroyed a few years ago, but how about right now? You still think it would be the case? Or do you think that Eubank Jr. might be able to get Golovkin at the right time? Let me know in the comments.